actually. Before I do that, because if you can see, this uh, chassis is kind of messed up a little bit. And, well, it's it's. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like smoke, but um, I took an eraser. Although it does sand, the eraser doesn't rub it off. So, you know, this. I'm not sure what happened to this um, power supply. It may have died a horrible death at some point in the past. It doesn't look repaired. Um, uh, the capacitors that we removed uh, are not charred or exploded, destroyed. Now, this AC4 did come off a T4XC that the final amplifier section was grenaded. I mean, the final tubes were missing, the chokes, one of them was destroyed, one of them was missing, and um, the, I think it's the cathode resistors were blown apart, uh, and that's going to be another repair adventure. So I am going to try and salvage that radio rather than turning it into a parts radio. This all, if I haven't said it before, was given to me by a ham who was friends with another ham who passed away. And he knew I had drakes and he knew that I was working on them. And so he said, hey, do you want these, these pair of drakes? And who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth, right? So I said, sure, I'll take them. And the result is what you see here. This power supply did come with the speaker. The speaker case, which I will show in, in due course, is rough. Uh, and both of these radios were in a barn, literally, because they were, uh, they, I won't say full, but they had a lot of hay, literally, hay det detri detrius, um, junk, um, hay fibers, I don't know, um, in side each of the radios so uh, and some corrosion as well which I will show you when, when the time comes so okay so we've got our board mounted it's tight and what's next before mounting the external strip, uh, mount the external strip, find the kid, the old capacitor holes, blah, blah. Mount this terminal strip near one of the empty capacitor holes. Confused? Don't be. This idea is quite simple. You need to connect the diodes on the PCB to the secondary wires from the transformer. The wires from the cable to the radio connect to the output of the PCB's capacitors. Of course, makes perfect sense. Still thinking that that diode's got to go, but uh, in fact, I've got the other one open here. Let me take a quick look. Aha! Proof positive that that diode needs to be removed. The other working AC4 does not have this diode here, so we can remove it with... Come on. So we can remove, oh jeez, it's on the floor. We can remove it with a reasonable sa of, uh, amount of safety. Okay, so connect one yellow wire from the PCB to the large yellow wire on the small three lug terminal strip supplied by Drake, which I believe is this. Connect from one yellow wire. It doesn't say which one, it just, I guess, it doesn't care. Uh, on the small three lug terminal strip supply, this yellow wire is from the transformer. Connect one yellow wire from the PCP to the large yellow wire. So we want to go here with one of these. Now it doesn't say anything about cutting wires, so we're not going to. 
and we are going to take this wire and I think we're going to just loop it like this and we are going to then solder it here ah my soldering iron is it on or is it off mm. it's on and so we're gonna come at this from the opposite end and just well a little housekeeping first we have a severed weed to remove There's another lead there that I want to Making a little bit of a mess here. Okay, let's put this loop back like that. Okay, yellow wire to the Yasha, small three lug, and this yellow wire is from the transformer. This would be the Bottom lug as viewed with the old capacitor holes towards you. Right, bottom lug. And inside of the connection. Connect the yellow wire from the PCB to the large yellow wire to the terminal strip that has the two large red wires. So here we will take this wire up. And which wire, which red wire do you want? Connect the yellow wire from the PCB to the large yellow wire at the terminal strip that has the two large red wires uh, from the transformer. This is the strip with the two large red wires and one single large yellow wire. Okay, so they want it to go here. So let's bring this up under, around, and through. Sorry, I bumped the camera. And are you still with me? Can you see what I'm doing? Roughly. My hands are in the way, but what can I tell you? Okay. And I'm looking 
looking quickly at the other power supply, I think we can solder these wires. Nothing else is going on here. It doesn't look like. Mm, looks good. Can we risk a close up here, Mr. Deville? So those two yellow wires are what we just soldered and on to the next solder point. Okay, solder one blue wire from the PCB to the large blue wire already attached to a small Drake Supplies reload terminal strip. So there is the blue wire down here at the top. And we have one blue wire, and again, we're not going to be cutting anything, so we will come around here, I guess. We have some housekeeping to do here, too, I think, to remove some of the... Neatness, neatness counts, so I'm trying to be neat. Okay, so one blue wire from the PCB to large blue wire already attached to the small Drake's blind. This would be the top terminal. Check. And connect, connect the other large blue, loose blue wire to lug one on the new terminal strip. Okay, so what's lug one? Now attach the last blue wire to this lug and solder. I'm going to say this is number one, left to right. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's go under here, around here. To here. And the blue wire we did the snippy snipping on. That's not a blue wire. Connect the large loose from the lug one. Now attach the last blue wire from the PCB to the slug to lug one. Well, first of all, I think this is it. I don't think it's blue anymore. But it's not red red. I'll have to look at the other power supply, see if that's right. Lug one.
looks like it's the right wire there's no others so I will once again neatness counts take that put it here just a, a little bit of a hook I know I know some point to point guys do not like the hooks but damned convenient Daughter. Not too much, not too little. Okay. Put them in here like that. And here like this. Do a quick reference to PCB. So far so good. And now what? And now you should have both large blue wires and both large B uh, attached to their counterparts going to the B PCB. Black, blue, blue, yellow, S yellow should be okay. Now run a red wire from either red wire that is soldered to the terminal strip that contains the two large red wires and single yellow wire, run that wire to the pad on the PCB labeled red. So I need the red wire from my kit. And here is where I'm going to have to guess. Is that the red wire? Or is that the red wire? Or is that the red wire? This is really a dilemma. This is what, what I'm talking about when I say I'm colorblind in red and green. I'm not sure which color is red. And so I have to phone a friend because I don't want to screw up the wiring colors here and then leave this for some other poor slob that has to come along and repair it, scratching their head over what's wired to what. So I'm going to phone a friend. I'll be back. All right, back again. I got the answer to the question. This is red. Lighting probably doesn't help, but. Uh, so where are we again? This is your blue wire, this is a blue wire, and they should have both large. Now run a red wire from either red wire that is soldered to the, from either red wire. So which one doesn't matter? Uh, okay, two large and single. Okay. Run that wire to the pad on the PCB labeled red. So I'm going to do the PCB side first. 
going to cut this wire to size. First, this is red. Is it red A or red? PCB labeled red. Can you see that? I can't tell if you can see it adequately from the screen. It might be a bit of a dark blur to you people. But here's what I'm after. Hmm. Red. Solder. See if I saw her float all the way through. It's important. Looks like it did. So So the nearest hole for this red wire is this hole. Are you still no you're not. Where are you? It's that hole. And we'll go. Like so. Leave lots of slack. Go in between like this. Go around like that. And like so. Let's pull this out. Okay, so this wire is going around like so. And now we have to strip the wire. And we're gonna put it through this post. Can we solder that? Yes, we can. This is not a very good camera stand if you haven't figured that out already. But as I've said before, I'm not a professional YouTuber, I'm not using professional equipment, but I am trying to document this to help out others, especially people who may not be experienced in 
making changes of this type to manufactured equipment so that you can see what I've done and also for maybe people who are more experienced who can spot mistakes or share ideas on making this easier in some way uh, so I'm all ears on that next we're gonna red wire blah blah, blah. we're gonna wire the pad we're gonna go red second run a second red wire from the remaining red wire on the terminal strip to that's the red wire right remaining red wire on this terminal strip to the pad on the PCB oh no I'm sorry run a second red wire to the remaining red wire on this terminal strip to the pad labeled red A will this make it just I'm not sure it'll make it. So there's a critique of Mr. Mike's instructions you gotta talk about lengths here so we don't screw up and there's no mention of how long these red wires will be it's not helpful okay red a right red a correct so we're gonna do this again all right the battery died again and it's going to die soon uh because it's not fully charged but let's see how far we can get before i have forced to stop i would like uh to get this done today and i'm sure you would too if you were in my position so we're about to solder this need to heat up the soldering iron again I just turned everything back on this out route the wire through this hole under here and under here okay I don't like that Strip the wire, adjust the camera.
and we're going after that plug. Solder, please. down like so pull this out a little bit all right on a second red wire to the red a which we did locate a white the white orange wire that is attached to the single lug terminal strip root this uh, to the pad labeled orange on the PCB Okay, orange is over here. So we're going down below like this. Strip that wire. Solid wire. And just double check, locate the white orange wire that's attached to the single lug terminal strip. Root this wire to the, to the pad, it says. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I think you can. Okay. Sometimes this wire is not connected to any, sing to any single lug strip. Instead, it goes to the 800 plus volt capacitors. Uh, and so we don't have that issue. Install the small yellow wire from the radio harness on lug number three of the new terminal strip. Back here, wrong side. They believe that this is the wire they're referring to. Let's read that again. Install the small yellow wire from the radio harness. This is the harness 
on lug number three of the new terminal strip. So if this is one and that's ground, that's three. And is that the same as what I've got over here? Yes. <sighs> I wonder how long I'm going to get before this battery drops dead again. Okay, see drawn, run a yellow wire from this lug to the pad labeled yellow. So, hello, my friend Mike. I don't have any more yellow wire. Uh, this is the part that drives me bats. Uh, you know, if you're if you need specific lengths in order to preserve the yellow wire, then say so, so that I don't use too much excess, like here, uh, and then I've got the wire to expend. So now I don't have any yellow wire uh, of this gauge lying around. I'm going to have to use one of these excess wires instead, and that just annoys me. There, there's no reason for that, Mike. Just you know, tell us what the lengths are so that we know how much yellow wire we can use from one point-to-point -point connection to the other. So, if you're watching this and you haven't built a kit yet, either get yourself some extra gauge wire or be very careful about the measurements because you're going to need uh, you're going to need to be careful. I don't have the inches measurement because obviously I've been installing this thing and uh, haven't followed along in that regard for the most part except for copying the, the lengths that were suggested by the instructions and now I need uh, I I think I connected the wrong wire here. This is yellow, this is green. So glad I didn't solder that. And so let's fix that right away. It's not, it's, it's just unnecessary. I used more wire than I should have now I have no yellow wire left. Gosh. It's just irritating. So it says, uh, See drawing for run a yellow wire from this lug to the pad labeled yellow. I just don't have any. I, I'm so frustrated. I don't even know what color this is. But whatever it is, it's going to have to do. So, labeled yellow on the PCB. Okay, here's our pseudo yellow. Just pretend it's yellow. And we'll solder this.
And so I will take that wire. Am I out? Yeah, I'm out. Sorry, you missed that, guys. I apologize. I'm out of the shot. I'm now frazzled because I don't have any freaking yellow wire. And I'm pissed. It's not necessary. So now this wire is going to have to substitute for the yellow wire. And I'm still pissed, and that's why I'm still saying it. It says, see drawing, run a yellow wire from this lug to the pad labeled yellow on the PCB. So we'll go like this. We'll go like this. And like this. Am I back in the shot? I'm a little too close. Let's... Hmm. Looks like there's only two on the other board, so... On the PCB, from the pad labeled ground, run a black wire. Where did my black go. Here's the black. Run a black wire from this pad to the center lug of the three terminal lug. Okay. So. ground Pad labeled ground. labeled to the center of the three terminal plug. here or actually like that
three terminals. One, two, three. So I think that this is number three. I'm looking at the You guys still see what I'm doing here? Yeah, it's over here. And I may have to remove some 